Okay, hi everybody, and welcome to my first video tutorial. Um, this one's going to be about how to um, turn modeling a 3D logo from a 2D image. Um, now, I am to start off, we're going to delete our default cube, and we're going to add a background image. So that's for to, to model on top of and stuff, so we got our references and stuff. Um, we go load and go find it. Mine is in my documents, the background. And see, and it comes up like that. And we can close. Um, so now we're going to add a curve. Space, add curve, busier curve. Now, curves are probably one of the, the best features in Blender. Well, not one of the best, but definitely one of my favorites um, they're so useful and all that so what we're going to do is we're going to trace around the outside of this um, to make it straight like I did you grab two points and you just press V and that will change it into something like that so a nice straight line uh, ok so we're going to grab it you press G and plonk it on that corner um, you can zoom in with the middle mouse wheel and grab this one again and move it up to there um, we're going to extrude it again by pressing E and extrude it again and as you can see it's, this is going to be a long process um, now when you get to a curved bit like that you just extrude and sort of go past it to the point where that curve would finish to about there so yeah, um, the reason why I say that paths, no, sorry, that um, curves are one of the best things in Blender is because you can use them all for all sorts of things. Like uh, this, for example, is one of the um, good things about it. You can model sort of complex shapes with it, and that's really useful. Um, you can do other things like use it as a path to move objects around on. Um, I'll probably show you that in a later tutorial. You can use it to just just all kinds of real cool things. Uh, this is probably going to take forever, so I think I might pause it here and uh, flash ahead of time. Okay, so um, I'll finish going around the outside of that, as you can see. It took a lot of time, so putting all those points into where it's supposed to be. Just finishing it off now. So if I extrude this one to there. Um, now to make it a finished shape, you want to press C, and then all finish off. Now as you can see, it's all screwed up at the moment. That's because we haven't moved the, made the things to go to the curves and stuff. So instead of this line sort of going around like that, it's sort of cutting through other ones, and it makes all these funny shapes. But just the high level press Z. Um, now what you want to do is you want to start at one point and just manipulate these handles here. So I'll grab this one, twist this one, and grab this one. And you can be very perfectionist about it, or sort of put a little much if time and effort into it as you like. Um, and just move these around. It's going to take a while. Um, yeah, for some some places you might have to move these back around if you move a little fast. But um, I'm sure it'll take a little more care than I did. So we're just gonna grab points and move them around like that. Until it conforms to that shape. So you get a very nice edge once you, you do it right, it looks real good. If you ever start to do something like that, like you grab the wrong point, and you want to say, oh, oh, no, I don't want to do that, and you just right click, and it, it jumps it back to where it was, so say that's, I just right click and it jumps back. Um, so just keep doing that. Um, oh, f fast forward in time again. So if we. Okay, I've um, finished editing up all the uh, corner bits and stuff, so if you can see that. 
So, Dumb and dusted. Um, one thing that I should mention is that if you have nice long curves like I do, I'm not sure if you'll ever see this with the detail that this is on, but you see that this goes in like a straight line, sort of, it's very uh, much a pointy curve. Um, so if you, if you don't want that, if you're going to be sort of zooming in nice and close on this or something like that, then you're going to want to go to um, edit and click up the bevel resolution a bit. Um, generally, if you put it up to 32, that just makes it like disappear, and it's like, wow. And, yeah, so it's a bit of tip there for you. Um, just gotta watch out that if you're gonna use this on a, in a game or something, like, you know, why you would use it in a game, I have no idea, but if you're gonna use it in a game, you'd want to set that down a bit, because otherwise you're gonna have heaps, heaps of, um, unwanted sort of slowness this yeah. um right so that's done now and if we press z again we can see that oh we got some crossing over faces over here and um so what you need to do is you need to make sure that these don't overlap so if you can see that that's like overlapping it's creating a hole there and not on the other side so you want to move this one so it's below that one Okay, just move that up a little bit if you're a perfectionist. Then. Just so that it doesn't do that. Those are probably the broken faces and stuff. And voila, now it's perfect. Um, what else we want to do? We want to see these bits here because they're separate. What you want to do is you want to add a separate curve for them. So we will do those now. Um, while well, you're still in the same one and in a mode still, you just click around your space, add a bit of the curve, and then you press V so that it goes all straight. And you want to grab the points, line them up to there. Yeah. And extrude it with E, plonk it down there, and then press C, and it makes the curve again. And then The other thing we want is the eyes. If you notice, the eyes sort of get cut out. So to do that, I go into this mode so that I can see it. And I just click somewhere in the middle, put space, add, is a circle, and that creates a perfect circle. And if we just scale it down a bit, press the S and drag the mouse around. Grab it, move it across and stuff, and scale it across the x-axis. If you press it again, you'll see that it, it has cut it out. And, um, so that's pretty good. And if we just duplicate it, press Shift and D, and then just right click it and it'll go to the same place, and we'll just scale it down a little bit. So it goes over that in a bit. And then we'll Shift D again, right click. Then we'll scale it down a little bit about that much. Just grab it, move it up. Right. Grab the side bit, move it across. This here. Yeah. Cool. And then we can just cover this entire eye. That'll save us time, covering the entire eye. Um, so control no, shift D, move it across to the lines up with that one. Mm, it's about there. That's pretty good. And we drag a mouse around. You see, it's completely flat, and um, we want to make it 3D. So if we just down here, if you click the extrude and, and chuck that up once, it makes it nice and thick. Okay, well, thanks for watching my tutorial, and I uh, hope it was helpful, and um, leave comments and tell me if you think I need to change anything or something like that, um, and uh, if I missed out on anything as well, put a question in there and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Adios.